Greetings everyone, Diablo 4 is coming very soon, MMORPG and hack and slash and the big question is, is it fit for you? In this test I'll cover the gameplay, lifetime, design and business model. I'll start with the gameplay because you'll directly see if you will like this game or not. As soon as you are playing Diablo 4, you'll see that you have Blizzard Touch, meaning instant fun and easy to play. Whether you're in solo or in party, you'll quickly be able to enjoy Diablo 4 mechanics. Compared to Diablo 2 and 3, this game is unfortunately a bit slower than its brothers. Even if the more level you take, the less you will have this slow effect, this can be a bit disappointing for Diablo's fan. Also, you can have some wide empty areas and even if the mount will fix a bit this issue, it can be a bit weird and it's the first time for a Diablo game. Lastly, and to finish this gameplay review, bosses are very well designed, you have plenty of them, they are very interesting to battle and so on, so very good point for Diablo 4. Now I'll speak about the content and the lifetime, and the question is will it be interesting to spend time on Diablo 4? The first thing is of course the world map. You have quests, world bosses, dungeon, PvP and so on, so plenty of stuff for you to do. It's simply the biggest content ever created on Diablo and you'll have for sure activities that you like. For the classes, you can choose between 5, each of them having their own skill tree, but also a mastery in order to specialize your character. The skill tree is well done, it's not easy nor difficult to understand, the only issue is that you have only two choices to change your skill. On the opposite, the Paragon system is much harder to understand and you'll need to very think about it if you want to do it by your own. You'll also have for every class a very deep legendary codex, a bit like the same that you have in Diablo 3. Lastly, the endgame system is well think, whether it's by tier dungeons which are harder and harder to do, or the endgame exploration which will give you special rewards. In any case, if you like to spend time in a game, Diablo 4 will fit your needs. Let's move to part 3, global game design. For the graphism, you'll find what Blizzard's know-how. Kills and animations are very clean, even if you are playing in a party, so you'll always be able to see what you're doing. You'll also find the soul of Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Resurrected, because blood is back in Diablo 4 and even a bit more than the second game. You'll have plenty of good surprises on Diablo 4, so make sure that you're well prepared for them. If you like Diablo OST, you should love the one from Diablo 4. They're quite awesome and emotionally charged. To add another layer of epicness, you'll have the chance that your character will be in the cinematics. That means that it's not an NPC which will do the job, but your very own character which will be in the game. To finish with the business model, and even if we are not on a pay-to-win game, you'll have plenty of stuff to buy if you don't want to have only the game. Whether it's by the high price of the game itself, goodies, in-game shop, battle pass, Diablo 4 will always encourage you to buy something. Also, it's not very clear about the content updates that will come for Diablo 4. It will be probably extensions that you have to pay, a bit like World of Warcraft, but for now there's no official topic on it. In the end, Diablo 4 takes what is good from its other game. Diablo 2 for the design, Diablo 3 for the legendary power, and Diablo Immortal for the MMO features. Even if I found the gameplay a bit below the level of the other games, in Diablo 4 you'll have a vast and deep game to explore. This game should please any fan from Diablo except if you don't like at all MMO. I hope that this test will help you and don't forget to say in the comment whether you bought the game or don't plan to do it.